education isn't all we need in this new economy. We also need benefits and protections that provide a basic measure of security. It's not too much of a stretch to say that some of the only people in America who are going to work the same job in the same place with a health and retirement package for 30 years are sitting in this chamber. Cash is losing its footing. Mobile wallets are continuing their meteoric rise. We have the opportunity to build a new global financial system together for all. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Also, those who I purchased from the store, much love to you. Because like I said, ladies, I definitely have some things coming for you. Now, of course, guys, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Now, of course, right now we are taking a dip. We saw XRP take a dip down to 23 cents. So, guys, make sure you are focused on the indicators. That's XRP, of course, the stable coins, Tether, USDC, and then volume. We saw volume pick up a little bit. We was at like 70 yesterday. Remember I said volume was completely flat. And then we move up to almost 90, and we saw the market move down. So make sure we understand that in order for us to make moves, make big moves, we have to have volume there. So we're starting to see volume pick up. So to let us know which direction that we're going, of course, XRP and stable coins let us know. Now we see Tether keeps hitting major milestones this year. Basically, of course, has a volume of $600 billion. Guys, we know that Tether USDC is the foundation of this whole economy. Now, guys, I did the video yesterday on LIBOR. Make sure you go check that video out. Like I said, that's the most important video I've ever done. Now, don't forget, basically, in uh, Obama's last inaugural speech, he stated that we're moving over to the new economy. And so, guys, this is already planned out. I'll go over it time and time again. But the video that I made on LIBOR early, when I first started my channel, I stated that basically they're going to be moving trillions on Ethereum. Now, basically, we're starting to see it come true, come to light. Now, in my Patreon, I'm going to put a piece of information in there that's going to blow your mind. Now, with me, when I studied this, this was long, this was years and years ago when I was basically researching, first doing my book. I think my first book came out like 2015, 2016. But it was a rabbit hole that LIBOR took me down. That sometimes, guys, you can't get out. It actually changes your whole outlook. So the fact is that I am warning you in my Patreon, don't go do research to take you down that rabbit hole. You know, read it and keep it moving. But it's definitely a rabbit hole that's out of this world. If you're a researcher, I'm telling you, don't go down that rabbit hole. I'm just giving you a warning. But, guys, getting over into the other stablecoin, USDC. USDC just advises that basically they're going to be on Stellar. Like I stated, it's all found. It's all a foundation, guys. That's all Tether and USDC is. We saw Brian Brooks and Jeremy from Circle State that they was working on what the world global stable coins. So, guys, we know stable coins are going to be that foundation. That's the reason why banks can allow custody for the stable coins. Now, guys, OKEX, of course, in trouble also at right after Bitmax. So basically, the article says that Bitcoin dumped like 2 or 3% during that announcement. But basically, guys, who know that has nothing to do with it. That's, that's just back. But guys, we also have Ripple basically donates $10 million to the Mercy Corps. Guys, we know that's partnership with those NGOs. We know they're just like mercenaries. They just come and colonize and drain your economies. That's all these NGOs are about. We know anytime they're talking about global acceptance and banking the unbanked, what they're trying to do is get control over their economy. That's what they want to do, control over the people. If I control your economy, I control everything about you. 
I think Netflix had the uh, documentary on Haiti. Go check that out because basically it shows you what these Mercy Corps and NGOs do. But guys, don't forget that, remember, Ripple was purchasing XRP in that second quarter. And then we see a few months later, they're rolling out what? The loan program, the line of credit. So everything matches up. Only thing you have to do is keep connecting the dots. Now we have Coinbase ads, Rap BTC, and I've been over Brian Armstrong speaking about the new digital economy. So we see them adding strategic assets. They just don't add everything like Binance. Everything is strategic. Now we have a Reuters article, Bank of Japan downplays the fear over China's digital currency. So we see more of these major uh, CNBC, Fox, everybody's talking about crypto and digital currency. So guys, we know it's coming to light 2021. We have top Chinese chemical firm uses blockchain to cut trade financial costs. And guys, we know blockchain and tokenizing the economy are going to cut out a lot of costs. And that's why I speak about deflation. While everybody's talking about inflation, yes, we're going to have an inflation for a short period of time. But when these robots, algorithms, AI, drones come in, basically we're going to go through a deflation period. Now we have Timothy Lane, a Canadian governor, states that banks should be ready with their CBDCs if Libra is blocked. So guys, just let us know how big Libra is going to be. Remember, I always say, the Libra is sitting behind the curtain and nobody's talking about it the same way as Bitcoin Lightning. Now, also, Libra hires former HSBC CFO. So, guys, as like I said, Libra is definitely going to be a piece of this puzzle that we don't get to see. Now, lastly, guys, getting over the world news, and this is some crazy news. Wall Street donors line out for donations. Now, basically, they raised $383 million in the month of September. While we have people, kids, hungry in America. And basically, they talk about people standing on corners asking for money. But the fact is, that's all you see on YouTube is campaigning and getting money. And they raised $383 million in one month. Out of this world, guys. We have to wake up. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and also the New World Order book. If you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, the stocks. Don't forget about the stock channel, guys, Crypto Teacher Stocks. Basically, you have your Cobalt, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. Don't forget everybody sitting at home, the at-home stocks, the C-word, the biotech stocks. And then while everybody's sitting at home, Getting free money or waiting on that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks. And you have a wonderful day.